Hello, hello, Sharon here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to set up your own free Gmail account. So let's crack on. Now the free account in Gmail comes with 15 gigabytes of storage, which is probably ample for what you want to use it for. And it also includes ads. When you set up a Google account, it not only gives you access to your Gmail account, but you also use that account to access YouTube, Google Drive, and Google Play. If you want to set up a proper business account where you're using your domain name, so for example, instead of your name at gmail.com, it would be your name at, and then whatever the domain name is, then you need to set up a Google Workspace account, which is slightly different. It costs around, I think it's $6 um, a month per user, but you get more storage space, it's ad free, and there's a few other features in, included in there as well. I'll put a link in the description below to the Google Workspace um, in case you want to set up that account instead. So, on to open a free account. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open a browser. It doesn't matter which browser you use, it could be Chrome, Safari, Firefox, whatever you normally use, open the browser and go to gmail.com. Next, you need to click on create account. Then you have three options. You have for myself, which is pretty self-explanatory. You have for my child. This means you can set up an account for a child under the age of 13 or whatever the applicable age is for the country that you're in. Or you can set up an account to manage a business, which is the one that I'm going to choose. So just to point out, this is different to the paid Google Workspace account that I mentioned earlier. Um, this one is still free and you have the email, the, the email address will still be your name at gmail.com but there is an additional option later on where you can set up a business profile but I'll be showing that later on anyway so I'm just going to click to manage my business and it's just a matter of entering your details so I'm just going to quickly get on and enter these so when it comes to entering your username if it's or if it's already taken then it will tell you that you can't have that name you can't use words like admin or account or info in the address either. They won't allow you to do that. So just choose a username that's available and if it's not available, it will also give you a couple of options underneath. So you can see here, I've tried putting insurance tutorials at gmail.com. That username's already taken, it won't let me do it. But it's also telling me that it, available, it has Sharon's tutorials 88 and Shepherd Sharon 42. So I'm just gonna try a different one. Let's say Sharon's tips and tutorials instead and that one is available so I can use that one. Then it's a matter of creating your password which again is the usual eight eight or more characters, a mixture of letters, numbers and special symbols etc. And then confirm the password and click next. You now have the option of entering a phone number and it will automatically take the location of where you are. So if you want to change the dialing code at all, obviously this is recognized that I'm in Ireland. So if you want to change that dialing code, just click on the little drop-down arrow and choose a different country. But I would recommend putting in a um, phone number and a recovery email address just for security reasons. So I'll go ahead and enter those in a second. And the next thing you need to do is enter your date of birth and the, your gender as well. So I'm just gonna say female, and I'll just go, go through and enter these as well. So the next thing you need to do is choose your personalization settings. So with a free account, you have ads that pop up on a regular basis. So this is just asking if you um, whether, whether you want to tailor the ads um, to be more personal to you. So if you choose express personalization, which is a one step, and go to next, this tells you what's, um, what settings are being used. It's worth reading through just to make sure that you're happy with that. If you're not, then you can click back. If you scroll right down to the bottom, click back. And you can choose manual personalization. So if you click onto there and go to next, and now you can go through each individual option and put in your own personal preferences if you want to. I'm just gonna stick with the express one and just say next. And scroll down to the bottom and confirm. Once you're done with that, you need to read through their um, privacy and terms of service, etc., and then click I agree at the bottom. 
Now this is the op additional option I mentioned earlier about the business profile. So because, we, because I selected manage my business, it's now asking me if I want to create a business profile. And basically if I click continue, it allows customers to be able to find your business on um, Google search and Google maps. So if I click continue on here, this is basically um, like Google my business. Um, so you can add photos of your services and your products, that kind of thing, like a storefront in effect. And you put in like your opening hours, you can have like reviews and everything on here. It's good if you have a business, if you're doing a business account, but you don't want the paid business account, then this is another way of doing it for free. And you'll notice that this is actually opened up on a different tab up here. So the tab for your Gmail is now here and it's open. So if I just come out of this, so this is now your Gmail account. It's now open, it's ready for to use. You now have the option to allow smart features. So I would definitely recommend turning these on, the smart features. I'm going to include a link in the description as well to another video that I did where I show you some of these smart features and smart personalizations. So I definitely recommend that you turn those on. However, if you click next, personally, I actually don't tick these other Google products here. I don't really want um, reminders that my bills are due or maps displaying restaurant reservations, etc. Um, so I usually tick use limited versions of other Google products, but that's entirely up to you. So, and I'm going to say done. And it's just reminding you that you've actually turned off these features if you have turned them off. So I'm just going to say, yep, yeah, turn those off. Yep. Yeah, so now it's, it, now it's saying I need to reload Gmail. So just click reload and that's it. You're done. So you can see here, there is a get started with Gmail box here where you can go through each step to actually get your Gmail sorted straight away. Or you can just click the cross here in the top right corner to dismiss it. So just to run briefly through um, either initial setup, you have three tabs across the top, your primary where you're in, which is basically your inbox, um, where your emails will come into is your primary tab. You then have social. So this is where emails from social networks, dating services, and other social sites will appear. And um, promotions will be where newsletters, marketing emails, etc., will, will appear. And you'll notice that you have ads showing now in the promotions and in the social one. That's where the ads will, will be. They don't, they don't appear in your primary tab. So then they don't, they won't actually appear in your primary inbox. And that's basically it for creating your free account with Gmail. So the next thing to do is go through your settings and make sure that everything is set up personally for you. So to do that, you need to click into the cogwheel in the top right corner here and go into see all settings. And this basically opens up all of your settings. And I would just spend time going through, making sure that all the um, relevant information is there. You've set up your email signature, things like that. And just switch things on or off, whichever one, whichever you prefer. I've actually got a playlist of Gmail tutorials that you probably will find helpful, but I recommend you look at my Gmail settings um, video first. And I'll include links in the description below so that you can watch the other videos to help you on your way. Just another quick thing, if you want to log out of your Gmail account, then you need to click on the profile badge in the top right corner here where your name is. Um, again, in the settings, you can set it so that you've got a profile image, a profile picture in there or your logo or whatever you want. But yeah, to log out, you just need to click onto there and then click sign out. And that's it, you'll be signed up. If you have any questions whatsoever, please do put them in the comments below and I'll try and help you as much as I can. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.